I want to thank you all for coming here today. Events like this give us an opportunity to show Washington, D.C. that we're not going to stand for the mudsling that's tearing this country apart. Support our troops. Yes. Now with that, I would like to uh, take this time to introduce my opponent and uh, my friend, Marty Huggins. Marty. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Cam. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, my dad always told me two things about giving speeches. One, never say anything bad about the Jews. And two, tell an interesting story. I have two pugs. One's named Pound Cake and one's named Muffins. Anyway, Pound Cake loves to get underneath the sofa. And I know exactly why. Because my wife leaves Milky Ways underneath the sofa with Hamburger Helper on it. And Muffins is always yapping at him like, don't go underneath the sofa. And Pound Cake barks back, I am under the sofa and I'm having a good time. And they look at me like, what? The other one's looking at him, the other one going, what? And then I walk in, I'm like, what are y'all two doing? And every day, it's the same thing. Just barking about one of them being underneath the sofa. That's, and that's my story. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marty. I am sorry. Where are my manners? I forgot Marty's bio. I didn't know I had a bio. Mitch, go ahead and kill the lights and draw those curtains. Thank you. A little presentation. Today, we are here to meet Martin Sylvester Huggins, who was born right here in 1972. As a boy, Marty attended camp for weight loss and emotional stability. In high school, he was part of an all-male a cappella group, Dude Branch. At 25, he met the love of his life. She proposed to him six times before he said yes. Together they have two boys and two pugs, which, keep in mind, are Chinese. They're Chinese dogs. And currently, Marty Owens works out at Curves, which is a workout facility for plus-size women. Don't you find that interesting to learn about Marty Huggins? That's my opponent, Marty Huggins. Eat up, everyone. Enjoy. Stab and steer, let's go. Who are you? Tim Wally. Much Brothers sent me. I'm your campaign manager. I'm here to make you not suck. Don't your bucket in here. What's this all about, Mr. Wally? Your life as you know it is over. As we speak, your campaign headquarters are being furnished and staffed, and the Mach brothers have put one million dollars into your political action committee. Yeah, but these are my things. I mean, this is my doily collection. Not my son! From now on, you don't own pugs. You own a chocolate lab and a golden retriever, two highest polling dogs. One of them will be named Sergeant, the other Scout. They will wear bandanas. Sit! What about my pugs? Have them put down humanely. I cannot stay here. If you want to put a live beer in the backyard, that's fine, but I don't want dead things. Look, look, they don't have guns in here. Are you crazy? Dylan is probably doing 10 spells of violence. Marty, Marty, they just let themselves in. And if I tried to stop them, they want me to cut my hair like Katie Corrin. I want a Bible on this end table and an oil painting of an eagle over this fireplace stack. I want Lee Greenwood playing 24-7. You can see they're just trying to help us win. Kim, where are you going? Any more stuff. From now on, you wear men's warehouse for formal and the Greg Norman Sport Collection for cash. For God's sakes, put those beds together. Now. These kids 
kids need some real help. Either one of you throw a football? What are you doing with these boys? They're homeschooled. They're good eighters. We have 49 days before this district of 700,000 people decides if they like you or not. Right now, your likability is at 26%. The focus group words that come up about you are odd, clammy, probably Serbian. That's an old one. He looks like the Travelocity gnome. What? If you really want to help this district, the first thing you have to do, Marty, is win. I do want to help the district. I love my home. It's just all happening so fast. Listen, I think Cam Brady can be beaten, but I don't believe you believe that. You know what? I'm just going to call your dad and tell him you don't have the rocks for this. <gasps> you put your phone away, Mr. Watley. This might be hard for you to believe, but this dog has a ton of fight in him. A ton of fight. And when I get a scent, I hunt, brother. I hunt all day long. So don't you ever insinuate anything like that again.